we are here today uh, opening our new uh, driver service center facility here. Um, we're very much excited about it. I want to thank the media for coming out today to cover this uh, grand opening. I especially want to thank the officials of our driver services division, Assistant Commissioner Lori Bullard, Director Michael Hogan, and others, the center manager here, Ms. Kenya uh, Jeter, for the hard work it took to open this new facility. Uh, we're excited about the new technology that uh, we've implemented here. Uh, we're really excited about the number of parking spaces and chairs in, in the facility for the citizens of uh, Memphis and Shelby County. And so at this time, I want to um, also thank Donate Life for coming out today to be with us. And I want to introduce Assistant Commissioner Lori Bullard of our Driver Services Division for a few comments. Thank you all for joining us today. We're very, very pleased to celebrate the opening of the new Summer Avenue Driver Services Center. And if you've ever been to the facility that's just a few miles down the road, you understand why we needed this new facility. We've kind of outgrown it. This gives us plenty of parking, gives our citizens plenty of places to sit when they, when they do come here, and kind of gives our staff a little bit of room to move around as well. So we think that this is really going to help the community and help serve the citizens' needs a little bit better as well as the staff. And we're very excited about this. As Chief said, um, this is a new day for us, and we really are, are just very pleased to be here today. Okay, thank you, Commissioner. Now, it's my privilege to introduce a special guest to uh, each one of you today, the former Commissioner of the Department of Safety and Homeland Security, the person that was ultimately responsible to initiate uh, the move to this new facility, which, by the way, has been ongoing for months. Uh, and without further comment, I would like to introduce to you Bill Gibbons. Ongoing for years. <laughs> for years. <laughs> well, it, it's, uh, it's a great uh, uh, pleasure to be here today as the former commissioner. Now, I have to, to warn you that as a former commissioner, I can just say whatever I want to say. Nobody can, uh, can really... <laughs> Uh, stop me. So I'm going to be uh, honest about some observations. Um, it was about six years ago uh, when I became Commissioner of Safety and Homeland Security uh, and I had an opportunity to talk to the outgoing governor, Phil Bredesen at that time, to seek his advice uh, and he was very honest. He said, uh, I tried for eight years to fix the Division of Driver Services. I failed. Good luck. Uh, and I quickly found out what he meant. Uh, there were some serious problems uh, in the driver services division, ranging from lack of training, uh, inadequate management in a lot of the driver services centers, uh, an outdated computer uh, system that was breaking down almost every week, and a lot of outdated facilities, uh, such as uh, the Summer Avenue, the former Summer Avenue facility here, which was way too small uh, to accommodate uh, the level of customers. So we proceeded to really uh, make those changes, make those improvements, uh, and it took a while. Uh, frankly, it was a little frustrating the first year or two as we didn't see a lot of progress, uh, and I kept telling Governor Haslam, just hold on, they're gonna start seeing that progress, and it really kind of kicked in about three years ago uh, when we really uh, made a lot of progress on training our employees on improving management in our centers. We got a new software system that is much better than what we had before. Uh, and we began to address the problem of some outdated facilities to move into better ones. Uh, and this is an example today. Uh, it's something that we worked on for a number of years. Uh, and I'm glad to be part of this uh, grand opening today because I think this is gonna be a real great facility for this community and, uh, and its uh, uh, citizens. The real focus here is serving the customers, serving uh, the citizens of this community. So I appreciate the opportunity to be here and be part of this. Thank you, Commissioner. Now we'll, uh, we'll take any questions that uh, the media may have uh, before we cut the ribbon here. In regards to extra seating, what exactly are we talking? 
Well, we, we divided the uh, area, the seating area. We have partial seating here, and then we have partial seating around uh, on, the, on the corner as soon as you walk in. At the other facility, there was probably about 40 seats, so we've almost doubled that. Almost doubled it. And with the technology, the new technology, can you give some details about how it's going to make it more efficient? Yes, actually, um, we have kiosks now. They're, they're called wait time kiosks. Before, when you would go in, your wait time wasn't actually measured until you got to the counter when you got the ticket, and then we would start counting the wait time. Well, now, as soon as you walk in the door, we have kiosk, and you check in. You put your information in, and it lets you know what kind of services that you can do that day, and it actually starts your wait time the minute you walk in the door. So it allows us to measure wait time more efficiently, and then we can see how we need to make adjustments according to that. Probably we'll have to ask a few more after just for a sound quality at that time. All right, are we ready? Hold on. <laughs> One, two, three. Well, actually, it's been a lot more work than it seems like. It looks like everything's just running as smoothly as it can, but it's actually been a long process. As uh, Commissioner Bill Gibbons said before, it's been about three years since we've been working on trying to find a new location for Summer Avenue. But we wanted to find one that would suit the needs best. It would be a really good fit for the community. We think this is a great location. It's not too far from the other location. As you can see, we have plenty of parking out there. And then, we, like I said earlier, we've almost doubled the seating inside. So it, I just really think it's going to work out really well for the citizens. And DMVs are kind of notorious for giving people a headache having to come in and do the wait time. So having the extra seating, having the efficient technology, how much of a difference do you think it's going to make? Actually, we think it's going to make a lot of difference. We've actually even seen the difference in the staff. That we've been able to spread them out a little bit more, and so the, fl the flow of traffic seems like it's a little bit smoother, and we're not all right up on top of each other. So it actually, I think, has is, is already improved. Everybody seems to be really happy. We've had customers you know, all morning long, and they've, they've been really um, pleased with, I think, the new changes that we've made. So being able to check in kind of right when you get in the door, um, any other new aspects of it that are, are different? Uh, well, no, it's pretty much the same process. You can still get the same services here that you could get down the street. Um, but we do encourage people to use the online services, e-services, if they can to renew or to get order duplicate license, um, and that way they don't have to come into the center. And then we also have the uh, standalone kiosk where they can get a renewal or a duplicate or change their address and do some things there that, so they wouldn't have to come in the center. And I think that that really helps as far as technology goes. Along with the type of kiosk where you, you kind of check in and you instantly are given a number. Right. What we don't want is people to come in here and wait for a long time to be told you can't do that here or you can't do that today. And so when they check in and they put their information in, it'll give them a list. This is what you can do today. And it lets them know what they can do. So if they're not eligible to do a certain service, that will tell them right then as soon as they walk in the door and they won't have wasted any time here. Well, as the commissioners have stated, this has been something we've been working on for about the last three years. We're really glad and excited for the citizens of Shelby County and Memphis because now we have a new center we hadn't had here in 20 some odd years. I think this center in Summer Avenue was opened in 1995. So this is a new uh, day for the citizens. And what are some of the coolest new things you would say that this one offers that the former one on Summer Ave didn't offer? It has to be the technology. If you look at the new Alico queuing system, uh, as the commissioner has stated, it allows you to come into the center, it vets you before you're processed by an examiner so you don't have to wait. Uh, in addition to that, we have our iPads, which has been really a, a huge success because that's some of the technology you're seeing in the private sector, you're now seeing in the public sector. So I think those initiatives right there is what's driving to make this place a better place to you know, come do business with the state. Is there an estimated, um, I guess, decrease in wait time or anything like that that you guys are anticipating with all of this? Well, with all of our initiatives, we hope to decrease the wait time. Uh, the one thing is, is we want to make sure that people can control their wait time. With the Alico uh, queuing system, one of the functions we have there is you can put yourself in line without actually having to be at the station. Visit our website, www.tn.gov. You go to the link where it says driver services, and you can select the time in which you can come between 1 and 3 o'clock, or maybe sooner, depending on the traffic in the station. Uh, 